So in this video, we're going to talk about the Texas Revolution, and we're going to focus on the time really after the Alamo, but before the Battle of San Jacinto, some of the things that, the, the key events that happened between there, although not every event. So let's get started. So Houston, Sam Houston's army is weak, uh, is not really prepared. He doesn't have a lot of people. Um, Santa Ana has uh, had the victory uh, at the Alamo in San Antonio. And so he recognizes that Sam Houston, Sam Houston recognizes that he needs more time. Uh, he needs time to get more men. He needs time to try to train them uh, as much as he can. Uh, and so he, he makes the decision to retreat his small army. This is what we call a tactical retreat. Um, it's, it's done for strategic purposes. Uh, it's not in the middle of a battle that you're retreating simply to survive, but you are retreating for strategic reasons uh, in hopes of being able to fight um, another day with uh, greater success. So uh, the, kind of one of the big events uh, really between uh, the Alamo and and San Jacinto, the Battle of San Jacinto, is the Goliad Massacre. So in another part of Texas, not far, from, not that far really from uh, San Antonio, um, is a is Presidio at Goliad. And Mexican General Jose Urrea managed to capture a Texan army for, uh, force of about 350 men, led by Colonel James Fannin. Uh, the article that you read. Um, it goes into greater detail and kind of explains that, and I expect you to have read that, uh, but basically captured about 350 men, some 300, maybe 400, somewhere in that range. Um, and ultimately, Fannin decides to surrender his men with the promise that they'd be treated as prisoners of war and eventually released once the war is over, um, or perhaps even... Um, allowed to be exiled to New Orleans. So there's um, a, not completely clear exactly on the expectations, but Santa Ana had no intention of doing that. Instead, Santa Ana ordered General Urrea to execute all of the Texan prisoners. Uh, and this event is known as the Goliad Massacre. This event, along with the Battle of the Alamo, really helped, uh, really was a, um, a point of revenge that uh, Texans wanted to take um, as a result of those events uh, against uh, Santa Ana specifically. So uh, at the same time, many of the Texas settlers now lived in constant fear of Santa Ana. After his victories there at Alamo and Goliad, they fled his army in an event known as the Runaway Scrape. They really were not, they thought Santa Ana may uh, come upon uh, these Anglo settlements especially and um, kind of used uh, use a a scorched earth policy perhaps where he that they they were afraid that he may you know attack uh, the citizens and go through uh, and destroy uh, property and 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 kill or capture people as well um, that are not in, uh, directly involved uh, and so many of them begin to flee. Uh, men joined Sam Houston's growing army. Women moved their children and belongings towards safety, uh, moving really towards the Texas-Louisiana border, uh, hoping to get into Louisiana and the United States, which would be safe. Um, and that's known as, this, this whole event is known as the runaway scrape. So, uh, the only other thing, the, the, one of the other big things that that happened during this time, and we're not going to get into it, is uh, the Convention of 1836, and we will talk about that in another video.